In this video, we're going to be talking about two features in MicroStation, display sets and quick sets. Now, these are two completely separate features in MicroStation that can be used independently of each other, or they can be used together. And that's what we're going to see is how can they be used together in MicroStation? The first one we're going to look at is something called display set. Now, this is going to allow us to turn on or off the display of elements based upon elements that we select. Normally, turning on and off the display is something you do with the level display dialog, and it's based upon the level attribute, and you can turn off or on elements based upon that attribute, but it's all or nothing. Here, we're going to decide what is going to be shown by using element selection, and we're going to select the elements that we want to see. So as you can see, we've got this design. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my view around. So you can see we have a drainage network here. And what I'd like to be able to do is only see the drainage network. And then I want to see this road up at the top. And I also want to see the road down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is use element selection. I'm going to select the elements that I want to see. So I'm going to carefully select the elements that I want to see using element selection. It's going to take a moment to do this. Again, I'm being very careful about what it is that I'm selecting. Now that I've got this element selected, I'm going to apply the display set. I can do that a couple of ways. The one I'm going to do is on my keyboard, holding down the shift key, I'm going to right click. You get a pop-up menu. Now this pop-up menu has a lot of good things on it. We're going to focus on the middle ones. The first one is display set set. That's going to apply the display set to the view. Once I'm done and I want to see everything back again, I'm going to go to display set clear. I'm going to choose display set set. I've now isolated out just the elements that I wanted to see. Now I can unselect them. I can now rotate my view around and I can only see the elements that I had part of my display set which can be helpful for design purposes, for verification, for measuring, which we'll see in a moment. It does help us when we're trying to visualize our design and we want to see something and there's lots of other elements in the way. And again, this works in 2D or 3D, but 3D it's especially helpful. We can also, from that same shift right click menu, we can change our display styles. And I'm going to do that now. Shift right click. The menu appears and to the right, this was discussed in a prior video, we have three shortcuts to three common display styles. At the bottom, we have wireframe, which we're currently in. We have shaded and then we have illustration. I'm going to choose illustration and this is going to change my display style and then I rotate my view around. You can see, I see this in a shaded or illustration display style mode. And again, this may be helpful for me to visualize what's in front, what's in back. Like you can see this roadway, it's actually creating a shadow on the lower roadway. So I can get a clear idea that one is above the other. Once I've done my design, I can validate it. I want to bring everything back. Shift, right click. At the bottom, I choose display set clear. Now I did change my display style to illustration. So I'm going to change that back to wireframe. Again, shift, right click. On the far right side, I'm going to go down to wireframe. And now I'm back to just wireframe. Now, when I selected these elements, this takes us into our next topic, which is quick sets, or also known as named groups. When you're creating a quick set, if you know that you're going to need to apply this again, you saw me and I took a few moments to select those elements very carefully. If I wanted to do that again, what I don't want to have to do is go through that process again. That's where quick sets come in. So I'm going to easily reselect those elements by on my mouse, pressing and holding the right button down. You'll see there's select previous. Now this works for me because I hadn't selected anything else. So I'm just going to use this to reselect those elements. Now that I have them selected, I'm going to make a quick set or named group from them so that I can reselect them very quickly. Now I do that 
by on my keyboard holding down the control and the shift key and then right clicking on my mouse. A menu will appear near the top. You're going to have quick set save and a sub menu allowing me to choose up to 10, 1 through 9 plus 0 quick sets. And right below that is quick set recall. This is how we would recall or reselect the quick set. So I'm going to create the quick set. I'm going to choose one. I now have a quick set or a named group called quick set one. I'm going to unselect my elements. And then if I wanted to reselect them, I can just do control shift, right click, go back up, choose quick set recall, and then choose the number I assign in this case one. You can see it quickly reselects those elements. This is a permanent part of the file. If you close the file and you come back, that named group called Quickset1 will still exist. So I'm going to unselect my elements. Where these are stored, under the Home tab, up the top, on the far right, there's a group called Groups. In the bottom right corner is the Named Groups Dialog Launcher. So I'm going to click on that. This will open up the Named Groups dialog. You'll see there's my named group called Quickset1. From here, I can also reselect these elements by just double clicking. You can see they're reselected. I'm going to go ahead and unselect them. Also, as I mentioned, display sets and quick sets or named groups work together. And on the named groups dialog, there's a list of icons across the top with my quick set one named group selected. There's an icon right here that says set display set from selected name group. So when I click on that, it quickly applies the display set to that named group, making it very easy for me to get back to that point. So this does require a little bit of forethought. So you have to think about this when you're selecting elements. Do you think you're going to be needing to select them in the future? And if you are, then that's a good time to make a named group or a quick set. So now with my elements isolated out like this, I'm going to further isolate out because what I'd like to do is I'd like to measure the elevation. What is the elevation difference between the top of this DI and the top of this DI? Well, I'm going to go ahead and isolate them out. So I'm going to use element selection. I'm going to select those two. I'm going to do another display set. So I'm going to shift right click display set set, further isolating these two elements out. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to unselect them. Now my goal is to measure the elevation difference between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and close my named groups dialog. I'm going to go to my measure distance tool. I'm going to get there by on my keyboard, tapping the space bar. My pop-up menu appears. Third row, first icon, that's my measure tools. I'm going to click on it. A secondary dialog appears. There's my measure distance. I'm going to select that tool. On my tool settings window, my method is currently set to between points. That's what I want. I'm going to select the top of this drainage inlet, pick a point on the top. You see my AccuDraw compass appears. Now my compass happens to be in the front orientation, but let's say if I was in top, so if I hit T for top, that rotates the compass to the top. Could have been in a different orientation. Well, I want to go vertical, so I could hit either F for front or S for side. Either one of them would get me what I want. So I'm going to hit the letter F, and that rotates the compass to the front orientation of the design cube. By moving my cursor up and down, I can get vertical here. So with my cursor in this direction down here, I want to lock it on this axis. I do that by using the AccuDraw shortcut, the Enter key. We call it Smart Lock. So I'm going to hit enter. This locks me on this axis. If I hit enter again, it unlocks. It's a toggle. So I'm going to lock it, hitting enter again. Now that I'm locked on this axis, I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to move it over to the second DI. And when I do that, you can see AccuSnap finds it. You're going to see there's a line indicating the vertical distance and then there's dotted lines giving me the horizontal X and Y from that location. So I'm going to now data to pick that point on the second DI. And when I do that, the distance is on my tool settings window. It's 28.922. So there's my vertical distance between the two. Now, I could have done that 
without turning off the display of everything else. But doing that helps me to isolate out these elements so that I'm not accidentally snapping to some other feature or some other element. So I'm somewhat ensured that I'm snapping to the right elements. And it's pretty simple to do. So I'm gonna hit reset to bring everything back. Again, shift, right click. I'm gonna choose display set clear and everything returns. So that shift right click, very handy, gives me lots of different things, including display set and our display styles. As I mentioned, this is not the only way to apply a display set. So if I go back to my element selection, I'm gonna select an element. On my mouse, if I press and hold the right button, the context menu appears and you're gonna see display set set and clear. They will only appear if you have elements selected. If you don't have any elements selected, then you're not going to see display set set or clear because this menu is what we call contextually aware. It recognizes you have elements selected and it provides you options for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose display set set and you can see it isolated those elements out. So again, if I press and hold the right button, I'm gonna get display set clear and I can bring everything back. So that's another way to get to it instead of the shift right click. But my recommendation is I'm gonna do the shift right click now. This not only does it give me display set set and clear, but it also gives me my quick shortcuts to those display styles. I also for 3D, I get these view controls here and fit very popular tool. People love that. So it's a quick way for me to get to my fit. And with my left hand resting on my keyboard and my right hand on my mouse, these two together, very quick to get to. Bringing the tools to your cursor, that's what you want to do. So I'm gonna dismiss that. So hopefully you found this informative and you can now have enough information to hopefully practice what it is that you saw. So it's gonna be practice, practice, practice. Again, shift, right click, should become one of your new best friends. Hopefully you found this informative and we'll see you in the next video.